What's happening, everybody? So this week we're solo. My pumpkin from the last two weeks, uh, he got out of the truck Thursday evening, he got his truck Friday. So he's already back up in Minnesota doing his thing. We <laughs> dropped all those coil rods. Um, it's lovely down here. The groundhog, I guess, yesterday in Pennsylvania said that we're gonna have an early spring, so let's hope so, because I'm getting tired of that snow. Right now in Kentucky, it feels pretty good, nice little breeze. Just gonna go ahead and wait until we get our first load of the week and uh, get to stepping. So we're done. I'll be honest with all of you, out of all the hundreds of different loads that I have hauled over the years, skidded coils are my least favorite. And not just any skidded coil, but like the, the super tall ones, like those, because you can't use chains, you can only use straps. Plus they're super top heavy too. So you know like those yellow signs you see on like exit ramps and stuff say like 30, 25. Yeah, with a load like this, I'm doing 10 under that speed limit. That's another thing too. If you guys are behind a truck, right? And it's taking an off ramp and you're like, oh my God, this truck, this truck's going so slow. That's why it's going slow. <laughs> it's because what it's hauling. Take those turns way too fast. Next thing you know, you're gonna tip that load and then that truck's gonna be all over the place. It's not a hard load to secure. I hate tarping it, because it just looks like doo-doo every time I tarp it. It's probably my fault though. But, <clears throat> we're going up to Wisconsin, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this stuff away, and we're gonna hit the road. I'm hoping I can make it there tonight. That'd be cool, so we'll see. The beard is so majestic. <laughs> Morning, everybody, it's Tuesday. Woo, Tuesday. Ooh. Yeah, Tuesday. Uh, <laughs> almost made it to Wisconsin. Uh, this is one of those times where I wish I was just, just a little bit faster. Uh, about an hour away from the com uh, customer. Uh, sucks, because yesterday when we were in Kentucky, or when I was in Kentucky, if you live in Kentucky, then you know. But uh, it was like 72 degrees, 76 degrees. It was nice. <laughs> And now it's 30 degrees. And I see snow. <laughs> so, thank you, Wisconsin. Uh, for all that you do and your cheese that's made in California. Any hoozles, we're gonna go ahead and finish all the rest of this trip, get up there and unload. And then, uh, I don't know, see what we'll get next. Yeah. <laughs>
Alright guys, we got over here to the other place that we're picking up. Uh, we're picking up a load of building materials and we got 933 miles to go to New York. It's a two day run. Uh, it delivers Thursday morning at 8 o'clock in the morning. It's like right outside of Albany, which is awesome because it goes right by where I used to live. So I'm going to maybe, hopefully, if I get to, try to stop by and say hi to the mom and, and the pa. I wanted to show you guys the load so you guys can see that this is super awesome. Alright, real quick, just to kind of put this in context for you guys. This load is paying two grand to the truck. Now how that works at TMC is you make, each week you make a certain amount to the truck and then out of that then you get your, your pay. Uh, TMC works on percentage, I am currently at 30%. Uh, only just because it's the winter and it's slow, but when spring hits up, I should be back up 32, 33%, no problem. With a load that pays two grand, I'm making 30% of that, right? 30% of a thousand is what? That's 300 bucks. Awesome. So when you're making two grand, or this load's worth two grand, 30% of that should be like 600, right? I'm gonna show you guys this load and you'll see exactly why I'm happy. Uh, first of all, real quick, it's not a tarp load. There's no tarp don't have to tarp it uh, if they said I had to tarp it I don't even know how that I don't even know how the heck I tarp this thing it's so small <laughs> right that's what I'm saying I'm paid essentially 600 bucks 600 bucks to haul this load 900 miles you tell me what there isn't to like about that Uh, just a quick update for everybody uh, with that load that we picked up yesterday like I said earlier in the cut or which way whatever way uh, it was just gonna be an all-day driving uh, and that's pretty, pretty much what it was I got up I didn't even change out of my pajamas and usually I'm not like that but I knew <laughs> I wasn't gonna be dealing with customers today so I got on the road um, kind of right out side of Toledo, Ohio, and then got all the way up to Liverpool, New York, and stopped in my 30 minute break. I uh, was gonna see my parents, but forgot my mom's actually on a road trip down to New Orleans. Uh, hope everything is safe. You should be in New Orleans, well, probably today. Yeah, you should be there today. Well, when I record this, I'm probably still there over the weekend when I post this. So hopefully you're having fun down there. Uh, so I reached out to my brother. Um, he just had a kid recently. Was my niece never got to see her. So what I ended up doing was calling him up, seeing him, his old lady, and then my niece, which was awesome. It made my wife super jealous because I got to see the squishy baby first. Uh, I'll throw some pictures up right there. But she's she's a cute cutie. She's got <laughs> the family cheeks, that's for sure, uh, on our side of the family, but it was cool. Hung out, went and had lunch, and uh, banged out pretty much almost the rest of the drive. I'm like 15 miles away from the customer, they don't have parking. The closest parking was the truck stop. <laughs> like, no spots. Yeah, get up tomorrow, 7 o'clock, roll out, go drop this load up. The next load and head towards the house. So we got up here to the customer to deliver. Uh, woke up this morning and uh, New York was a little extra white today. <laughs> uh, thanks New York. Go to bed at midnight and I wake up to this crap. It is a decent amount of snow too. This is what you gotta love about New York. Look at this. Also, 
figured I'd say it now and put it in this video, because hopefully I'll have it in the next video. But my wife got me a dash can for Valentine's Day. Uh, because I love putting in like a lot of the travel. But the problem with what I currently have is this camera, this one right here that I'm using, putting it on a tripod, it's not safe. But a dash cam would be a lot safer. So we're gonna go ahead and get one of those. What's up everybody? Hey, sorry to an abrupt end of this week's video. Uh, long story short, Thursday there was some loading issues. Um, so I ended up actually not getting a load until Friday morning. I had to bounce 260 miles north in New York um, up towards the tippy top. And then once I got loaded Friday, uh, it was just, the snow is ridiculous. <laughs> that snowstorm hit. And by the time I got done driving Friday, I was just, I was out. Um, didn't make it home. I actually didn't get home until today, which kind of explains why today's video is actually posting so late in the evening is because I'm actually right now working on it. And that's why I'm recording this final touch, you know, whatnot. But, uh, yeah, so I got home today on Saturday and, uh, hey. and so I figured, uh, I'll just throw this in here to kind of explain what happened. So, but, uh, all right, see you guys in next week's video.